This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. This is WCPO 9 News. Thank you so much for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Craig McKee. Here's a closer look at some of today's top stories. Powerful storms hit the tri-state Wednesday night. There are a few confirmed reports of damage in Owen County, for instance. Dispatchers told us and there were some trees and part of a house on the road in the 6,000 block of Kentucky 330. Grant County said that it had some down power lines in Corinth and Cordova. And at one point, more than 1,100 Duke Energy customers were without power. No reports of any injuries from the overnight storms. The Taylor Mill man accused of killing a former Northern Kentucky assistant prosecutor while she slept is now indicted. Shannon Gilday is also accused of shooting her father, former state representative C. Wesley Morgan. Gilday faces seven counts, including murder, attempted murder, assault, burglary, and criminal mischief. Jordan Morgan was killed in her home in Richmond, Kentucky in February. She was an NKU law school grad and was a former assistant Commonwealth's attorney for Boone and Gallatin counties. Police say Gilday broke into the Morgan home because he was obsessed with its doomsday bunker. A grand jury in Hamilton County Wednesday indicted the former Kroger worker accused of shooting a man in the parking lot there of the Hyde Park Shopping Center store. That happened last month. Kevion House faces charges of attempted murder, discharge of a firearm on or near a prohibited premises, and felonious assault. Court documents say he got into a fight with someone inside the store, followed them out into the parking lot, and then shot them. That person survived. Republican lawmakers in Kentucky have started overriding Governor Andy Beshear's vetoes. Among those bills, a measure banning all abortions after 15 weeks. The ACLU and Planned Parenthood say they will sue to overturn the law. Hi there, I'm Chief Meteorologist Steve Raleigh, and we are on the downside of the rain and storms. So as we get out the door in the morning, we'll see some clearing. And in fact, we'll get some partly to mostly sunny skies on this Thursday. Now, as we look at the temperatures uh, out the door at 7 a.m., you're looking at middle 40s in most locations and kind of a split sky. But there'll be some sunshine in the afternoon and low 60s. A little warmer for tomorrow, cooler for the weekend, though. Look at that temperature in Sunday morning.